Hey guys, so if you saw my last video, I put a blind in this woods right here so we can come this morning and shoot squirrels out of it because I put bait down in there. I got all everything in the back. I got the shotgun in case there's nothing. We don't get anything when we call in some crows. And I got the blowgun, the recurve bow right here. It's in that case um, in case we see a deer that walks past. Got some arrows. And all this other junk. I'm gonna go try to walk down there quietly without spooking anything. Sit in the blind and wait for some squirrels to come, hopefully. I don't know if anything's been eaten out or not. But let's go ahead and go in the blind. It did rain some last night, but I don't know if that's going to affect how the hunt goes today. Got a whole bunch of water on the tent. set up and ready to go. Now I just gotta wait for something to come by. Got everything ready in here. The arrows. I also brought my slingshot. I think I forgot to say that. Hopefully we get some squirrels that come out soon. You hear all that? It sounds like rain, but it's starlings. There's thousands of blackbirds flying over me right now. Oh my goodness. They're so loud. I haven't seen anything yet though. There's a deer right behind me. Ten yards behind me, there's a deer staring at me. It's just a fawn, so I'm not going to shoot it though. I hope it leaves without smelling me. It is currently 9.16 right now. I've seen about five squirrels. Um, that one you just saw, there, I would take a shot at it. It's about 20 yards away right now, but there's way too many little tree limbs in the way to take a shot. And that's the closest one I've seen this whole time. All the others have been about 50 yards away. I'm about ready to get up and try to stalk some, because Waiting in here is not working out very well. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get out and walk around and try to stalk some squirrels. squirrel you just saw me shoot at I shot him and I missed him and he started running away and then I shot him again and I missed him and then he stood still but I couldn't get it on camera and I shot him in the head with the slingshot and it didn't kill him I mean he started to fall out of the tree and then he hit the ground and he ran away it's like nothing happened so I don't know where he went but we'll try to find some more squirrels I think I might just stick to the blowgun right now because the slingshot, I don't really know if it's powerful enough to take one out. I might need to get some more powerful bands for it. Oh, shoot, we got him. Oh, we got him, guys. I just shot a squirrel with the slingshot. You gotta be kidding me, I cannot believe it. First kill ever with a slingshot. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Ow. He hit him smack in the head. He's dead, those are just nerves right now. 
awesome. Ow, oh, man, he keeps calling me. We got him with the slingshot. Sweet. Perfect shot right in the back of the head. Knocked him out of the tree and he fell on the ground. Died. Let's go try to get another one. So I was just walking down around here looking for squirrels. I was walking over there and that squirrel started barking at me right up in that tree. And then he stayed there while I was getting the camera ready for him. And I got him right in the head. It's been really tough trying to get squirrels today because the wind's affecting the hunt, I think. And it's really hard to get this camera set up before I can get a shot. Because I would use the GoPro again like I did last time. But I wanted you guys to be able to see the squirrels a lot better. So you could actually see the dart or the slingshot bullet hit them this time. So I'm going to keep walking around and see if we can get another one. There's so many blackbirds. I'm trying to hit one with my slingshot. They keep landing and then flying right away, so it's hard to get the camera set up on them. Dude, headshot. Just headshot that squirrel. Oh my gosh. I don't know if he just fell off the log and died instantly, but let's go check real quick. Oh yeah. Instant death. Oh my goodness, man. I think I like the slingshot better than my blowgun now. This is crazy. I mean, this is, I don't know if you can ask for a better shot on this squirrel. Look at that, right there. I'm shaking so much, I'm so excited. Right there, between the eye and the ear. Perfect, he dropped instantly. That is amazing. Nice gray squirrel, it looks like. Awesome. I was just, I was over there by my blind and I was walking around and I heard this guy chewing on a nut and there's another red squirrel with him so I crept over here as slow as I possibly could and as quietly as I could and I saw him chewing on the nut and we got him sweet got two squirrels down gray and a red the red squirrels back at the blind right now so we'll keep walking around see if we can get another one so here's our two kills red squirrel and gray squirrel both headshots. Right now I like the slingshot a lot better than the blowgun because I'm able to reach out to further distances with the slingshot and when you're hunting in all this brush um, when you're using the blowgun you gotta the blowgun has you gotta aim higher because the the dart goes down a lot further but the slingshot it shoots a lot flat flatter so in this brush you can shoot through a little opening right to the squirrel's head and you get them. That's what happened to both these squirrels. So I really do want to get a squirrel with the blowgun today. Try my best to. But I'll take another one with the slingshot because it's working out pretty good right now. Check this out. Look at all those nuts in there. That is weird. There's so many nuts in this tree. I'm guessing squirrels put them in there for the winter. There's goes all the way down there just full of nuts. It's really weird. Look at this. It's a groundhog face. What the heck? It's like the nose of a groundhog. It's fresh too. That was like this morning or last night. What the heck? That is really weird. <laughs> what in the world? Well, it just started pouring. I'm about ready to leave. 
it's going to be pouring for a couple hours. So I don't know what to do right now. I'm going to go home. I still need to clean the squirrels. So the video's not over yet. So keep on watching if you want to see how I clean the squirrels. Alright, it's still raining a little bit. So I'm in the greenhouse right now. I'm going to be skinning the squirrels for you. First thing you want to do. This is how I do it anyways. Um, you, you cut a... You cut their back skin open a little bit. A lot of people cut it right there on the tail. I've tried that before, and I always do something wrong, it, wrong, and it just rips the tail off. So this is how I've always done it. Just get your knife and cut a slot in the back. It really helps with the sharp knife too. And you just get your fingers in there, like that. You just rip it apart. Now for the legs, get your finger under there, poke it through, and then you just pull it apart like that. Next leg, same thing, poke your finger through, just pull, now you can cut the feet off. And go ahead and cut the tail off too. Starting to look pretty good already. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and gut this thing. Alright, now you can go ahead and open all that up. You can see everything in there. Just get your two fingers in there and pull it all out. Pretty easy. It all comes out. There's a bunch of stuff under here, so go ahead and get your knife. And there we go. Go ahead and cut down there. Then put your finger there. Go ahead and pull all that junk out. All that, all those guts and everything. If you want to, this is optional. The belly skin right here. I always cut that cut that off. You don't have to though. Just make the make it look a little nicer, I guess. A lot of times when I clean a squirrel, uh, I just cut it right there and eat the bottom half of the of the squirrel. But I'm gonna try to get the front legs in there. There's some good meat you can see right on those shoulders. There. There's some good meat there. Kind of the same thing as the back legs. Just try to get your finger under there. Uh, there we go. Pull, and the legs come out of the fur. Same thing on the other side. Pull it out. Go ahead and cut the front feet off. Now you just go ahead and cut the head off. There we go. Oh, I still got some stuff in there to pull out the lungs and the heart. I'm gonna make a cut right here in case you missed any of the throat. Look good. Alright, this squirrel is done and ready to cook it up. And for this squirrel, I'm not gonna show this. You just do the same thing with it. Alright, well, I was just pulling this red squirrel apart. You can see where I hit it in the head. I found the I found the BB in there we shot it with. Oh the steel the steel bullet. Look at that. It was stuck in its head or something. Pretty cool. And go ahead and reuse this. I wonder if it got stuck in the gray squirrel's head too. I'll tell you guys if we find it. I couldn't find the steel ball, it must have just bounced off of the squirrel's head. Just got the squirrels cleaned. You can see on the red squirrel, there's not a lot of meat on him compared to the, the gray squirrel here. It's the difference. Gray squirrel, red squirrel, not a lot of meat. I just cut the bottom half off the red squirrel because um, there's really they have really small front legs on them, so it's not even worth getting the meat off.
that's it for this one guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed watching the video go ahead and hit the like button and tell me in the comments and I'll see you in the next one